I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on properties of quadratic functions. We will actually take up eight questions of this worksheet. Let me begin with the very first one, which is how do we sketch a transformed quadratic function? Using transformations, graph the following three functions starting from the graph of y equals to x squared. So we will sketch the graph of y equals to x squared and then we will sketch the transformed function um, on this. y is equals to x squared means that uh, we'll go with the steps of 1, 3, 5, 7, right? So 1 and then it is uh, 3 which is 4 like this, right? So uh, here we'll keep it uh, just uh, this much, right? So we have a parabola which is uh, this and this graph is of x square. Now when we have to show the transformations this is the vertex form and clearly in the vertex form what happens is that you have to translate x minus 1 that means the vertex now is at 1 minus 4 and how did it appear there? It was translated one unit right and four down. That is the transformation, right? So one right and one, two, three, four down. So that is how each point is going to get translated, right? So the key points which we considered, that is to say, let me write down here the key points which we have used uh, steps. So steps used were one, three, 5, 7, and so on, right? And this is for y equals to x square, right? So that is how we got this curve, right? So each unit is one unit for us, right? Okay. So now uh, we can say, well, every point is translated one unit right, four down, right? So let me write down here the translation, which is one right. and 4 down. Correct. So, so if I do that, I get a graph which is right there, right? So this is one step and then we'll go three steps, one, two, three. From the symmetry, that is the point. So we get a parabola which is uh, kind of like this. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to sketch the transform function y equals to x minus 1 whole square minus 4. Now let's take the next one. Now uh, let us uh, see what is the transformation. Here we have a reflection, right? We have a reflection and then it is stretched by a factor of 2. So the translation here is reflect on x-axis, stretch by 2 and then 6 down in short. Is that okay? So that is how we are going to do it. That is the transformation. So let me again uh, sketch this. Since uh, we are actually reflecting it down and then um, going upwards and 6 down, okay. So uh, what I was thinking is we have to put a scale slightly above, right? So let me just uh, this time make us something like this. Okay. We could actually also change the, the scale, right? So we can use the y uh, values as 2. Uh, that could make sense. So in this case, what we will do here is we'll use this as 0 and here we'll use this as 2. So that will take care of uh, the stretching factor and also moving six units down, right? So we'll have more room here, right? So we'll have minus two. So I've changed my scale. Uh, as you can see, uh, each vertical step now is of two units, right? So in that case, let me just sketch the parabola first. So this is zero, zero, it's one point, and then we have one, one, right? So at two, we have four, which will be here, and three is nine, right? So it is two, four, six, eight, and somewhere up there. 
So we do have a parabola which could be uh, going through this. So let me just sketch this part here. Okay, so this will go here. So okay, so that becomes the x square graph. Since the scale is um, changed, it looks slightly different from what uh, it was looking earlier, right? Okay, minus two. Minus two means we'll do these two steps together. So every point will be multiplied by two and uh, that one becomes two and with a negative sign. So this actually comes on this side right there, okay? So that is minus two. And four times minus two is minus eight. So we have this as 2, 4, 6, 8, right? So that is our next point. So we'll consider these two points and sketch the second graph, which is a, a transformation where we have considered minus 2x squared. So this is uh, what we have as y equals to minus 2x squared, clear? Now, 6 is minus 6 is we have to translate everything 6 units down, right? So 6 units down. Uh, will be this point will be shifted to four and six right so that is six units down and then this will be here right so th that will be six units down so our graph will now look like this so that becomes the graph for the given function using transformations is that clear to you right now the next one here we have a vertical compression by a factor of half and also a reflection so we have a reflection uh, plus we have a compression by half right so that is this part and then as far as translations are concerned we have two units to left right two left and one down is it clear to you so that is the transformation which we are going to do on our graph right so we can have this normal scale let me so we are again opening up and then coming downwards let's use something we'll have more space down okay. we'll use the normal scale uh, which is one one so that is one and then uh, one two three four so that becomes the the value correct so we have a graph which is kind of like this. So all these curves should be very smooth at the turning point. Uh, so that gives you y equals to x squared. And now what we are going to do here is that we'll do it in two steps. First, we'll incorporate this particular part, which is the reflection and half of it, right? So, so every point here will be half of it. So instead of going four, here we'll go two down, correct? So here we, um, sorry. Um, this was half, so the half of four is two. So every point, you just multiply by, uh, uh, what do you say? So this is one, two, three, four, correct. So four times minus half is minus two, right? So we get minus two here uh, for the this value. And when it was three, it is nine, squared is nine, half of nine is 4.5, right? So one, two, three, um, I mean 1 2 3 4 point 5 that becomes the next point so we have a graph which is kind of like this right this is the graph which I've drawn is y equals to minus half x square so every point has been reflected and vertically compressed by a factor of half so you just multiply by half correct the final graph here is to translate two units left and one down. So this particular point, two units left and one down will come here. So this vertex moves like this, correct? Accordingly, all these points will move two units left and one down. So this is half down from here, so that I could go from here, half down. And then we, we have uh, the next point, which is one, two units left and one down right so two units left and one down so that is what we have to do with each and every point so this point here moves two units left and one down two units left and one down here two units left and one down do you see that so from the symmetry we get this point here 
and this point here two units left and uh, one down will mean this and then symmetrically we could place it here so we do have a curve which is uh, kind of like this Is that clear to you? So that becomes the graph of the third function. So I hope from here it is absolutely clear how do we sketch a quadratic function using transformations, right? So there are many ways to do it, but if you have to show the transformations, it is good to show stretches and compressions and reflections, that is multiplication factors in one shot and translations in the other shot, right? So in two graphs, you can easily show the transformations. The first one had only translations, so we have only one graph to represent the transformed function. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great.